Hey fine babes and welcome back to my channel. It's Mia Colorada. Thank you for stopping back by. Um, today we'll be washing my curly wig. So I'm just going to show you how I revive my curly wig. So what you're going to do is you're going to be using your Tresemme shampoo and your Tresemme conditioner. As you can see that wig is really really dirty and it needs a wash and also be using my serum i'll be using a white tooth comb i don't have a white tooth comb but i'll be using an afro comb and then yeah just i'll be showing you just a close-up of what i'm actually using and then i'll be using my brush just to brush through the hair while i'm busy um washing it and then i'm just going to be running some lukewarm water just to wash the wig you really don't want to wash the wig with hot water you don't want to damage your hair so just make sure that it's lukewarm <laughs> Okay guys, so now we're going to start washing the hair. So you're going to just want to pour a really good amount of shampoo onto your hands. And then you're going to just grab your wig and then apply the shampoo on the um, wet wig. Make sure that you get into it. You get right into it. So you need to make sure that you get the wig clean, nice and clean. Make sure that you get all the dirt out because, you know... You've been wearing this wig and we've been, you know, doing the most with the wig. So now you just want to make sure that when you're washing your wig, you need to get into every little single strength of the wig just to make sure that it's really washed. And you're going to use your brush to just brush it out. Um, because when you are actually washing the wig it gets tangled so by using the brush you just want to make sure that it doesn't get tangled and then as you can see my lace is really dirty and that is glue right over there so which if you want to really remove the glue you want to use your rubbing alcohol i got mine from this game as you can see so you're going to open up your rubbing alcohol and then you're going to take the toothbrush so what i'm doing right now really i'm not supposed to be doing that but because i don't have a spraying bottle to pour that rubbing alcohol on well into into that bottle i don't have a yeah what am i saying oh my god yeah i don't i don't have a bottle to pour that rubbing alcohol into it and now you're just going to be rubbing off the glue and as you can see it's actually removing the glue off your lace so you want to make sure that you get that glue out and you want to just keep on doing that and make sure that that glue is completely like off you're going to just keep on rubbing the alcohol and make sure that you're not actually um pressing too hard onto your lace you don't want to damage your lace just make sure that you rinse that alcohol off and then just continue washing your hair I'm just looking inside a pretty long room. Soon as I feel 
Okay, so now we're going to make sure that all that um, shampoo is rinsed off and the hair has no leftover shampoo in it. So you're just going to rinse it off, detangle it if needs be and then you're going to make sure that now you take your um, nourishing conditioner and then you're going to pour that conditioner all over your hair and you need to just pour a generous amount of conditioner onto your hair rub that in rub it in wrap it in make sure that all your hair gets that nourishing conditioner you know you need to get into it so you need to make sure that every little bit of that hair gets that conditioner because the conditioner you know, there's something about a conditioner, man. It gives life to your hair. So make sure that you get that conditioner into your hair and rub it in. Make sure you just rub it in and you rub it in and you use your comb again to detangle your hair just to um, make sure that the conditioner gets into the hair. And then you are just going to continue combing and brushing and brushing brush your life away <laughs> uh this can look um very tedious and tiring but you know what if you want your hair to look pretty and you want to make sure that your hair looks shiny and beautiful you need to do this so you're gonna just make sure that you're also brushing your ends because you don't want that um your um your your wig is all tangled up down there you know just make sure that you brush each and every side of that wig on top the bottom you know and make sure that you just rub in that um you just rub in that conditioner so we'll be brushing it in so now what you're going to be doing right now is to be taking a plastic bag. You can use any plastic bag. So then you're going to just apply before you put that wig inside the plastic bag. You need to apply a little bit of um, serum into the hair. Just rub it in everywhere. Rub that serum in just to, you know, give your hair more, um, more life so after doing that you're just gonna add you can also add coconut oil guys add that to the plastic and then make sure that you seal the plastic and off to the microwave okay guys so we're back from the microwave so you want to put in that wig for six minutes inside the microwave just two minutes two minutes apart yeah yeah until it's like six minutes if you get me so um now we're just going to be rinsing off the conditioner and the serum of our hair we're going to make sure that you rinse it off thoroughly guys you don't want any conditioner and serum left in your hair so you're going to want to rinse it off and also be careful when you washing your hair you need to be very um gentle because if you want to if you want your wig to last like a really long time you need to take care of it and be gentle with it so we're just rinsing out that conditioner and the oil out Okay guys, so we're just going to continue detangling our hair and as you can see, there's a lot to detangle and then you can see that wow, this hair is really clean and nice and shiny and smooth, silky smooth and you're just going to continue, um, you know, 
rinsing it off making sure that everything all the products are out of the hair so guys at this point i think the hair is fine now everything is out it's rinsed out all the products are out so now we can air dry it so as you can see guys i'm outside and i'm air drying my hair and i'm just gonna leave it there to air dry you know and i'm just gonna be busy doing whatever that i'm doing inside the house and i'll come and get it later hey guys and now you can see that the hair is all dried up and it might look a little bit too crazy and all over the place but you can always use some mousse or you can use like conditioner and water and mix it together into a bottle of spray and then you can just spray your hair just to define your curls and then you're good to go but if you just want that lioness look and you just want puffy hair then you can just leave it like this but yeah that's it guys thank you